Hey, hey, I'm Hanny Mora from Repurpose.io, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create clips from a single video and how to get them all scheduled out to all the multiple platforms. There are two ways to do this. If you're currently using a social media tool like Buffer, Hootsuite, Agora, Pulse, you can keep things really simple and create a workflow that will take your video. Let's say I'm repurposing a video from YouTube and send it to a Google Drive or to a Dropbox folder in square format. And if you keep it under 55 seconds or 60 seconds, I recommend 55 just to be on the safe side, then it's compatible with all the platforms. So square under 60 seconds will work on Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and everywhere else. So I'm going to send this to my Google Drive. And then a couple of quick things here under the settings. You have a couple of choices. You can choose our default square style, or you can use our new custom templates. Uh, if you haven't seen our video, you can go to support.repurpose.io and you can learn more how about how to use that tool. Um, but I'm going to choose the brand new custom template. Like I said, we're going to do it square. I'm going to burn the captions. I'm going to turn this on and hit save. And once I go in here, I'm going to go ahead and create a snippet and set the time. And if you're not sure, you can always guarantee the perf by setting it to the time of 55. Just to be on the safe side, you can always do 60, but I always recommend 55 and create snippet. All right, here it is, my snippet, and I would publish. So you repeat this process over and over again to create as many clips as you want, and you're publishing them directly to Google Drive. And then from there, you can go ahead, grab them, schedule them out to different platforms through your favorite social media tool. So that's number one. That's one way of doing it. All right, the second way of doing it is controlling, scheduling everything inside of repurpose, and that's totally doable too. So in that case, you would need to create multiple workflows, one for each destination. For example, you would do a YouTube to Instagram, YouTube to Twitter, YouTube to Facebook, YouTube to LinkedIn, etc. So let's go do that. I'm going to make a YouTube to Instagram, for example. I'm going to choose snippets and then choose Instagram. Now, just a quick note reminder, if you don't see your connection here, you'll need to go to the connections page and add that first. And then when you create the workflow, you'll see any connections that you don't see here. So I'm going to go to Instagram and done. Okay. A couple things you want to do here in the settings. Again, you want to either set it to square or use your custom template. I'm going to use my custom template. I'm going to say burn up, burn in the captions because I wanted my captions burnt in. Now, important thing here, you want to go down and turn on the option called auto sync snippets. That's really important. It's going to save you a lot of time. So what this does is since I have, I'm going to have multiple workflows, one for YouTube to Instagram, one for YouTube to Twitter, one for YouTube to Facebook, one for YouTube to LinkedIn, etc. I don't want to keep making the clips on each of those workflows. I want to make them once and have those clips show up automatically. And in order to do that, you need to have the auto sync snippets turned on on each of those workflows. So I'm going to do two things, turn on the auto sync snippets, and I'm going to set this default to 55 and hit save. Okay, I have my YouTube to Instagram. Perfect. Now I'm going to do another workflow, YouTube to LinkedIn. I'm only going to do two for this demo, but you would go ahead and continue and do this over and over again for all your different platforms you want to publish to. All right, so I'm going to do snippets and, and I'm going to choose uh, LinkedIn. It's my destination to one of my company pages. All right. Okay. Now I have two workflows, the same kind of idea is I want to go to that second workflow, go in and choose the same template. I mean, technically you could choose a different template. If you want to have a different look on LinkedIn, you can choose a different template. But for me, I, to me, I like consistency. So I'm going to have the same template also going on to, when I publish videos to LinkedIn, I'm going to burn in the captions. Yes. That's what I want to do. And again, I'm going to turn on the auto sync snippets. So when I do that, so what I've done is for every workflow that I want 
to create clips for YouTube to Instagram, YouTube to LinkedIn. And if I create anything else, YouTube to Twitter, YouTube to Facebook, I want to turn on auto sync snippets. So what that does is when I go to view content and I go ahead and create a snippet and let's say this is my snippet here. Okay. I'm going to set that to 55 just to be safe. Okay. So that's snippet number one. What happens is this is my snippet. What happens is if I go to my other workflow, YouTube to LinkedIn, the cool thing is that snippet is here as well. So I don't have to go and make the same snippet on every workflow with the option called auto sync snippets. I automatically have the same snippet I create on one workflow will automatically show up on all other workflows that have that option on. So all I need to do here is for, let's say on LinkedIn, I click publish and then I can choose the date. I want to publish it on Say schedule it. Say I want to schedule this on. Uh, the next day, for example, set the schedule and here I can tweak with our custom template. I can go ahead and tweak some things around. So let's say I want the title to fit in nicely. Perfect. Hit schedule now. Awesome. So I can schedule that for tomorrow. Go to my workflows page, go to my Instagram and schedule that for a completely different day. I can schedule that for, let's say, uh, Monday set the schedule. Same thing. I will need to tweak anything I want to fix on the way it looks before I hit schedule now. And there we go. So now we have two episodes. I've only created the clip once it got applied to all my workflows with my auto sync option on. And from now on, every time I make a clip, it's automatically going to be applied to all those workflows Then I can go in and schedule each one to go where I want it to go on what day I want it to go.